Hi, I'm Neil deGrasse Tyson. I'm an astrophysicist with the American Museum of Natural History, and I'm host of Star Talk Radio. Welcome back to Star Talk Radio. <laughs> and it's fighting all these air molecules. Like, what's up with that? We win. Astrophysicists win. Oh! Yeah, I said it. Snap! Bada bing! Whoa, 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 whoa! Ah. I'm getting it! Survival tips for being lost in space. Floating in the void. Survival tips. No. <laughs> space is supremely hostile to life, period. You can't breathe the air because there is no air. If you happen to be facing the sun, it's hundreds of degrees above zero. And if you happen to not be facing the sun, it's hundreds of degrees below zero. Where you're gonna get food, there are no cows in space, there are no carrots in space if you're vegetarian. You will just die. In this order, you will run out of oxygen, dead that way. Next, you'll freeze to death, dead that way. You will starve to death, dead that way. Your body, if you can't maintain pressure in your suit, your liquid in your body, your blood, will outgas into this vessel we call our skin, and your body will bloat as those gases try to escape. It'll try to escape in the same way. When you open the cap of a bottle of soda, bubbles just appear out of nowhere inside the liquid. That's what's gonna happen to your liquid body. These are the ways we will die in space, and that's what distinguishes space exploration from the era of the great explorers of the 15th century. When Columbus becomes the first European to discover the New World, he could breathe the air when he landed. He could pick the fruit from the trees and eat that. He could repair his ship from the wood out of which the trees were made. If you crash land on a planet, what are you gonna do? Take the silicon from the rocks of the soil and rebuild a circuit board and replace the broken computer? No. Kiss your ass goodbye. And, uh, about Can I say that online? Can I?